Salute, salute. Now, Dan came out and had some things to say as he responds and kind of takes shots at the Colorado Buff fans. So you guys know, um, on his show, he welcomed into he welcomed in Chris from Appalachian Sports. Um, that man had some things said by Coach Prime, some allegations that had been debunked along the way. Um, but either way, you guys see this thing took place on Dan's show, so he spoke out in that regard. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, everybody go down right now, hit that like button, subscribe right now, turn that post notification bell on to all. We're going to jump right into it. Now, you guys can see right here, Dan said, I just find it really disappointing that college football fans or sports fans think that journalism are routinely out here just making things up as if there is you no know, not any type of consequences pretty much paraphrase that comes behind it now you guys can see that was what he initially had said or pretty much what they highlighted what he had said but when you read a little bit deeper into it he had some more things says he said he was clear that he couldn't be sure that quarter got the story right he took issue that buff fans who deny journalism just because it doesn't suit them now you guys can see a little bit further there he pretty must basically paraphrase and say that he had a problem with the Colorado Buff fans or sports fans in general that just act like guys can just make up stories. He didn't necessarily agree with Quarter, but he did have a problem with the Colorado Buff fans just naturally taking Coach Prime's side over anything just because it's Coach Prime. And at the end of the day, just not really um, taking heed that journalism takes some layers to just being able to put allegations out there because they could be sued amongst other things. And at the end of the day, like I said before, you guys can see paraphrasing. Dan basically said... Um, he was clear that he couldn't, you know, he couldn't be sure that Quarter got the story right. He took issue to Buff fans who deny journalism just because it doesn't suit them. Now, y'all get down in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about him or what he had to say. Y'all can read that article as well. But not only that, I'm sure you guys can do your homework and due diligence about this whole situation right here. I've been covering it for the last few days. Um, me personally, I feel like Carmine McClain said it was cap. You guys seen Jordan Seaton pretty much, you know, paraphrase or, you know, roundabout way say that it you know, um, that wasn't true. That they, they're brothers. You no, know, they don't fight, but they are brothers and hold each other accountable, among some other things. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on to all about what Dan had to say in regard to Chris from Athlon Sports. Thank you so much.